Alright, this is my first uh, real video from my studio and I'm going to attempt to take her off of this uh, rod. Now, if you know anything about true form armatures, they got a nut just inside here that you screw down and it holds it to this uh, rod and I need to dislodge that which means I'm going to have to cut a big hole in the front of her, which is not a big deal. I can always sculpt, sculpt back the hole. And uh, so I just got to figure out where this rod is going to come out at and, and uh, try to get it out of there. I think I'm going to locate that nut. I think it's probably right. Let's see, there's the lineup right there. And I'd say right in there. So I need to cut a hole out of there. And uh, we'll try to cut that out. Let's see. I'm going to cut a square, I think, in the front here. Play out. You can do it with a wire tool or whatever your tool is. Got enough strength to it that it can do it. Clay is kind of stiff because it's cold in here. I know that's unusual because there are places down south that are really having heat waves right now. Let me get this cloth clipped out of here to get in there and undo it. You can see it right in there, I think. A little shiny thing right there. There's a pair right there. I don't know if that'll work though. There we go. Coming off. It's just going to be a matter of pulling this rod out. Alright, now I got that system that I can use in another piece. So I'm going to set that aside and make sure I get my nut on there so I don't lose that. Looks pretty mangled, but it's easy enough to fix. There we go. Set that aside. I need to remove these boards. set her down. Alright, this is the first time I've had a chance to do this. <clears throat> Gotta figure out how I'm gonna mount her. What I can do is Just 
want to see where that would go. I don't need to raise the uh, clay up to meet her to hold her up. And so that's what I'm going to do. anchored my pasta machine down yet. I want to try something here. Do an extended rest down so that it almost touches the ground. That'll cover up the uh, obvious uh, fill in underneath to hold her up. I think it's going to work out okay. Certainly going to increase the cost of these bronze though. I just took a bronze that was 5,000, maybe put it up over 10,000. So, uh, not sure the subject matter is that good yet. You never know. You just gotta try. Sometimes you just sort of have to go for it, if you know what I mean. Alright, I'm gonna let my clay soften up a little bit. I'm having trouble with my light. We have a lot of creative people in this valley and 
There's a couple of these old guys down here that right near my studio here that uh, restore cars. All right, do this one more time. Yeah. Your name? I'm Ron. And that's? Dale. Hi, Dale. Hi, now, this is your car right here, right? This is mine. Seriously. What year is this one? 37 Ford, two-door sedan, slant back. Wow, look at the, I love those headlights. The only thing that says Ford on it is the bottom of the headlights. <laughs> Was that the uh, headlights for this car for that period? Mm -hmm. Wow. Can I see the interior of this thing? Yeah, I gotta get one. I mean, do you restore the... Did you do this thing? No, I bought it myself. I bought it. Oh, okay. I'll come around there. No, it's from uh, Colorado. Originally. Wow, look at the interior of this thing. That is so beautiful. Wow. That's when they had room in the back for somebody to actually stretch out. Yeah. Of course, they didn't have these kind of seats back then. No. But, uh, what year is this? 37 Ford. 37 Ford. I'll close it. How do you open it? This remote. Oh. We well, better not run out of batteries. But this thing's a beauty right here. That's a 30. 32 Ford. 32 Ford. Wow. Yeah, the one that he traded me was a Buick, I think. Buick? Or, I can't remember what he traded me now. This belonged to somebody else, but... Wow, beautiful work inside. Alright, I'm going to get back to my clay, but I just thought you'd like to see these. This is back when they made cars that looked like cars. I, I I wish they'd start producing more of these type of cars. Me too. Here's the engine. Oh my God! Will you look at that? Unbelievable! Wow! All chrome too. That had to cost a pretty penny to have that done. It's got aluminum heads on it. Damn! Not like the engine in my old '48 Dodge <laughs> that I had back when I was a kid. That was my first car ever. Had with a 48 Dodge. Well, thank you. Wow. Now oh, the clay is just about perfect now. <sighs> All I have to do now is just remember how I had the wrinkles in the blanket. <laughs> Kind of cool seeing those old cars. A buddy of mine, Joe Todd, back when I was a kid, Joe Todd and I tried to grab a old oh, bucket, T, model T bucket uh, body from a, a ditch, and we drug it all the way back to our home. We were gonna try to restore it. This is back in. 63, 64, around there, and uh, never worked out. All right, I remember the blanket came up like this, up and around and over. I primarily wanted to just get this going this way and then I, I can get some kind of idea of what I've got to do with it and uh, I think what I'm going to do is set it aside after I get this blanket filled in here and try to figure out what I'm going to do. So anyway, 
I'm just going to leave it at that. You get the idea. It's not that hard to take something apart. It's just a little stressful because you don't want to have to cut into something you spent weeks working on. All right, I'm going to get my clay started softening for my next project. I'm going to leave this as it is right now. And uh, it's going to be called Mountain Family. And uh, I think it's going to work out pretty good. Just got to figure out what I'm going to do. I could have her blanket come down a bit more too. Ah, we'll see. All right, everybody, have a great night and great weekend. See you next week.